winner moves on. Loser sees their season come to an end. MLB Network brings you exclusive coverage of the winner-take-all wildcard game. It's the one-game National League wildcard playoff between the San Francisco Giants and the Colorado Rockies. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian welcoming you into another edition of Major League Baseball coverage on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And, Dan, let's take a look at how these two ball clubs got to where they are. Well, I really love these one-game wildcard matchups to kick off the postseason. Kind of tough that your season comes down to one game after such a grinding season, but what's better than a winner-go-home game, especially when that's the case for both teams? Should be a lot of fun to watch. Back now as we draw ever closer to first pitch. Let's listen in to public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your 2018 Colorado Rockies. Quickly now, we'll look at the two men with a lot on their shoulders. Our two starters here in this wild card matchup. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. What's important for this lineup as they look to earn a berth into the division series, d -Row? Matty, I love the way this lineup's constructed. Talking to the manager before the game, he focused on the fact that they have a pass the baton mentality. Everything's flowing for this lineup chance to score a lot of runs. John Gray gets the nod here at home for the National League wildcard game. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, the pride and joy of the Oklahoma Sooners. Former first round draft pick by the Colorado Rockies. Big, strong guy, John Gray. 96 to up at 100 miles an hour. Good, hard breaking ball. And his changeup has gotten better every year that he's pitched. The key for John Gray? Throwing strikes. If he keeps the ball in the strike zone at 98 to 100 miles an hour, he is really tough to hit. All right, guys, so here's how the Colorado Rockies set up defensively. And check out the left side of this infield. You think the pitching staff's not going to want to pitch the righties in to pull in the lefties away to go the other way to the left side? That's because everything's getting caught on the left side of this infield. Should be fun to watch. Digging in, Joe Panic. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. And we are underway tonight in Denver as the first pitch is looked at for ball one. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. This is pulled into right. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Pitcher went to the well one too many times. Back-to-back -to -back fastballs. Hitter was able to keep his hands through. Deliver a nice line drive. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. Yeah, the rain starting to intensify here. It's coming down a little heavier now. We'll see how much longer the umpires can wait. Yeah, Matt, right now, this doesn't look too good. I, I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see the umpires come out and bring the ground crew out here. The infield, around the mound, and around the home plate area is really getting soaking wet. And I can't anticipate this going on very much longer. Buster. Here's Buster Posey now. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Panic, the runner at second with one away. Swing and a ground ball to third. And now from the air, a jump throw. Long throw, got him. That is a terrific play. 
And definitely worth another look with our show track data. Great reaction from the hot corner to make the backhand stop. And then he unleashes that very strong throw while in the air all the way across the diamond. He's going to be smiling about that one. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. Longoria waiting on the 1 0. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Blackman is under it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. For San Francisco, Giants nothing, Rockies coming up. You're watching MLB Network. Okay, here's how San Francisco lines up defensively. And let's take. Look at Joe Pat. I call him the big fundamental because he does nothing wrong on the defensive side of the ball. He has got ice water in his veins and the ability to turn one of the best double plays in baseball. And this will be taken in by Longoria for the first down. In now for Colorado, DJ LeMayhew. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. Nope. Ball two coming down in buckets. Cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here. And the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt. In particular, that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Arenado playing here in his age 26 season. He was taken in the second round back in the 2009 MLB draft. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Lifetime numbers against Bumgarner. He's got eight hits in 35 ABs. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. The one and two pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. McCutcheon is under it. And the inning is over. Three down for Colorado. Still no score. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Line to shortstop, and there's one away. Super play right there from the shortstop. Talk about showing off those hops. This was destined to be a base hit into the outfield. In now, Hunter Pence. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. You think there's any justice in the game? Watch those two at bats. Both of them hit on the absolute screws. One's right at one guy, and then one's a single. Go figure. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. Hit hard back up the middle. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Yeah, I don't know if I love the approach of pulling the trigger on that OO pitch. I can't imagine that's exactly what he's looking for. The result works. Pitcher can't be too much. Here's Austin Jackson, the center fielder, as he drives a liner to right center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Boy, there's a bullet base hit right there, but you have to hold there, d to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play. Yeah, you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive. I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy, but that's the way the game's played. Standing in now, Madison Bumgarner. Bouncer down the line. McMahon gathers it in. They get the force at the plate. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. 
So as we take another look, this was going to be a tough ball to get two on going home to first, so they'll be content with the force out at the plate. Here's Joe Panic as he swings and lifts it in the air out to left field. Desmond moves over. He's got it, and that'll get him out of the jam. Giants leave him loaded. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Leading off for the Rockies. Digging in, Gerardo Parra. Set to lead off the home half of the second. Tried to check it, and it's 0-1. Bumgarner. Affectionately known, of course, as Mad Bum. He was a first-round pick back in the draft of 2007. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Hey, from a hitter's perspective, I don't mind that take right there. I know it's in the zone, but this is a hitter's yard. You want something bell high that you can get loose. In. in there, a base hit. He'll get it into second, but it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. How frustrating is that, Dan? He tries to bury something in with two strikes, and this guy throws out a filet of fish to the opposite field. You know, sometimes you have to tip your cap that inside-out swing. As a pitcher, you think you've thrown a good pitch, but sometimes as a hitter, they put a good a swing on it and still ends up for a base hit. Missed with a breaking ball. Para stands at second with no outs. He was able to foul that one off, but you could tell he was definitely late. That breaking ball, the pitch before that heater right there, definitely threw his timing off. 2-2. Uh, and this is fouled at the plate. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And that one just missed outside. Set to follow here is Ian Desmond. Runner at second, nobody out. And he misses there for ball four. So runners are at first and second now with nobody out. Stepping up to the plate, Ian Desmond. Lifetime numbers against Bumgarner. He comes in hitting right at a 300 clip. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. From a hitter's perspective, you knock the donut off your bat knowing two things. This pitcher is out on the mound looking for a strikeout or a double play. So you better set your sights at least belt high. And this one's tap foul at home plate. Hey, I don't mind you throwing a fastball in this situation, but I think if we're being honest with ourselves, that one caught a little bit too much of the plate. Drilled to first. To Crawford for one. On to belt, and they turn to a double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out. But the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Here's Ryan McMahon now. First pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Change up low. Two and oh. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swung on. Missed. Two and one. Boy, what a time to pull the string on him. On 2-0, there's no way anyone's thinking change up. So if you can locate it, that's pretty much unhittable. Now the 2-1 pick. There's a fastball that misses. Chris Iannetta would be next. Who thought he had ball four, but instead it's strike two. Love that pitch right there. And he executed it perfectly. A big arcing curveball that starts at the batter's hip and then just bends onto the end. And they're going to hit the board first tonight as this falls down for extra bases. 
So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there. Safely on second, and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout. Ionetta behind now, 0-2. Hey, make a pitch right here and get out of this. Get the boys in the dugout and regroup away. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Rockies do get a run in the inning on this RBI. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Andrew McCutcheon, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. And that one's in on the hands to start the inning. It's ball one. McCutcheon. Or just Kutch, as he's frequently referred to. He's a nine-year Major League vet. The 1-0 is in there for strike one. The 1-1. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Next to bat for the Giants, Buster Posey, 0 for 1 here in the early going. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard to short. And there are two away now. Now batting. It is the third baseman, Evan Longoria, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. First pitch of the at bat. Swing and a miss on a nice biting slider. Hey, from a pitcher's standpoint, sometimes the greatest pitch is the slider that backs up. He got away with that one, but he wants that thing to bury down the way. Two out, nobody on. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third into the box now is the Colorado pitcher John Gray as we move on to the bottom of inning number three and this is taken outside for ball one to work around him and no reason to but sometimes you just lose the strike zone for no apparent reason here now the 2-2 Popped him up. Coming on is McCutcheon. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 2-2 one more time. Swing and a little tapper. But that one rolls foul. Here's another 2-2. Swing and a miss as he starts the third. The same way he ended the second with a punch out. One away. Here's Charlie Blackman now. He popped out in his first trip. First pitch of the at-bat. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. Blackman, or Chuck Nasty as he's commonly referred to. He was taken in the second round during the 2008 draft. Yeah, Matty, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name. The kids are buying his jerseys. Count is one and two now. Missed with a slider. The 2 2 is laid off, and the count runs full. DJ LeMayhew is on deck. Lifted the other way to left center. Crawford calls for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew. First pitch coming, here it is. Right over the middle, knee high. Bases are empty here with two men out. 
hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. up and the 0-2 pitch and a breaking ball stays outside I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0-2 to try to get a guy to go fishing but it has to be somewhat tempting you're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch and it's to 2-2 two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning halfway to 100 pitches here it is so a full count now well he had him down 0-2 earlier in this at bat but he hasn't been able to put him away and end this inning. This has been a fun battle to watch. Heading out towards shallow right. McCutcheon ghosts under it. And that ends the inning. One, two, three go the Rockies. But they lead it one to nothing. Back alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as it'll be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Now batting. Left fielder. Digging in for his Hunter second at bat, Pence. Hunter Pence. A base hit in his first trip. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Uh, this gets foul, it's 0 and 1. No runs, four hits, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And here's a swing and a miss that time by Pence as he falls behind here, nothing in two. It'll be interesting to see if the pitcher goes back to that. I don't know if the hitter was trying to work the ball the other way, but whatever it was, it just did not look good. No Lays off that time, and it's one and two. Gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. We'll take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Digging in to try it again, Brandon Crawford. He singled his last time up. Line toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and the inning continues. Boy, that's something you see often in batting practice. Guys using the whole field there, Dero. I like to see that a lefty that's just not always pull happy. 100%, Dan. The pitchers have gotten so much nastier in today's game that if you're not willing to play with the entire field, you're going to struggle. Hit the other way out toward right field. Para on the move. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Giant. Riding in once again, Nolan Arenado. He flew out in his last at bat. Drops in a strike to start the at bat. Nothing in one. Bumgarner ready with the 0 1. Here's ball one now to the Rockies' third baseman. It's 1 and 1. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Really good pitch right there. So you're moving the ball all around the strike zone, and then what do you do? You come in. That's a hard pitch for any hitter to do anything with. Just really makes it difficult to get that bat head out. Gerardo Parra comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. The 1-1. One, one. Strike two, swinging. 
this guy has been throwing the ball so well and that's exactly why he has such a feel for that secondary pitch he can flip it over whenever he wants and get back in the count and one in on him there as this is hit softly to third and they will get no he's in there a very close play at first Oh, but look here. The manager's up and out of the dugout, so it appears he might opt to challenge that last safe call at first. Yeah, Matt, definitely a close play right there. And we're going to take another look at it right here. Boy, that's just so tough to tell for sure from that angle. So we'll see what the decision is from the dugout, whether they want to challenge or not. And that's a thumbs up from the bench, so they will challenge the call on the field. So the umpires on replay duty in Manhattan will now review the play from all available angles in order to make the final Ladies decision. And gentlemen, the Giants have elected to all right, so here's one play. final look at it. Now remember, there has to be indisputable video evidence in order to overturn the call. He was called safe and probably could go either way, but I don't think there's enough right here to change the call. And we'll get our answer here as it appears the umpires have made their decision and the headset comes off. And the runner is safe at first as originally called. So they will lose the ability to challenge for the remainder of the game. He drew a base on balls his first time up. A ball and a strike oh, to Trevor Story. The 1-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push to throttle and pull it is being used. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. The left fielder, number 20. Stepping in and ready for another and shot. Five. Ian Desmond comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch on its way. This is line to left. Pence is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Rocky Strand. So here now is the pitcher, Madison Bumgarner. He'll start things out as we begin the fifth. Bumgarner. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. Now the 1-0 oh is swung on and missed in that strike one. One and one. The 1-1 one, one home. Liner towards second. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Finally, a little something for them to get excited about. Yeah, a rally can begin with a single swing of the bat. And this might be their chance right here. They've struggled to produce a lot of runs, but there he is at second base. A shot to the outfield scores him. Then who knows what kind of roll they could get on. Got to take it one good at bat at a time. Here comes the first pitch. Now a bunt attempt here. Arenado takes it in. Throws in time and that's out number one. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And there's out number two. Here's Buster Posey now. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Hit back up the middle. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's Ryan McMahon now. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. Hit down the line at first. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. The wind up and the 0 1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at 1 and 1. A great take on that slider away right there.
But I'm thinking in that situation, that pitcher's got to execute a little bit better. That was almost a non-competitive pitch. Being outside, you could almost have let that one go right out of his hand. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Even though that wasn't a fastball, it's never fun seeing a pitch come right at your head. Your first thing is to dive out of the way. It's not to see if you could see the stitching of a slider and decipher whether or not it's a fastball. So this will be taken in at second base. Good positioning for the first down. Now batting, Captain Fred Ayanetta. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in now, the catcher, Chris Ionetta. That's a ball. And he takes ball one. One, no one run on three hits. No errors in the ballgame for the Rockies thus far. A ball and a strike now. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. One ball, two strikes. The one two is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. And here's a change up in there for a cold third strike. And that's the second out of the inning. Ready for another chance. John Gray. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Way behind that pitch. It's 0 and 1. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Line drive base hit. So that'll extend the inning and keep it alive for Charlie Blackman. He came to play today. Not just only on the bump right there. He's thrown the ball well, but on the offensive side of the ball, he's able to contribute and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. And the slider stayed low, apparently, for a ball. A ball and a strike to Colorado's leadoff batter. Gray leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. We all know this guy is a great hitter in a three-one count. This is just what he's looking for. He loves to hit when the count's in his favor like this. Right side. And the inning will continue as that's through for a two-out hit. And he'll be thrown out at third. Trying to take the extra base with two gone, and the inning is now over. Both teams battling the yellow. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. Hitting off with the Giants. Third baseman, Evan He's ready. Longoria. Here's the first offering. And here's a strike. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-1. Hit high and deep to right center. Blackman will back up and put this away for a long out number one. Brandon Belt. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And a neck high fastball that time. These guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one. They haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent, but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either. This starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long. Desmond has to cover some ground, but he gets there, and there are two gone. Hunter Pence. Ready once again, Hunter Pence. One for two on his line so far in the game. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. Boys, we see the pitch count. It's hard to remember the last time we saw a guy pitch this efficiently. Yeah, Matt, it's incredible to watch him go after guys. He's forcing a lot of early contact, and they haven't done a whole lot with the balls they put in play against him. 
Here's the one and one delivery. Hit the other way out toward right field. Para is in pursuit. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Well, unfortunately, being close isn't quite good enough most of the time. Loved the effort in the outfield, and he was close to making that play, but instead it's a double. That's a risky play, though. Could have been a lot worse than a double. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. He's ready. Now the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind. Nothing and two. And he missed with it. It's one and two. And there's your textbook waste pitch right there. Try and get the eye level up. Let's see if he comes back with another fastball elevated or drops a hammer off. Hit out towards second. Backhanded. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this. Here's the second. Leading out for the Rockies. Second baseman, DJ. Here's Austin Jackson, the center fielder, and got leading off for San Francisco. Center fielder number 16, Austin Jackson. First delivery to him on the way. Sliders in for a strike. I know it goes without saying, but the best pitch in baseball is getting ahead with a first pitch strike. That's why this guy's been able to stay in this game. Pounding the zone. Man, a fastball just misses. It's one and one. Oh, that hit him. Let's hope he's okay. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. Hey, that's a heck of an approach right there. Lead-off single in the late innings. Team's down a little bit. Let's see if this ends up being a huge turning point in this one. Digging in and looking for more, Madison Bumgarner. He's working on a one-for-two game so far. From the stretch. Squaring around to bunt his bum garner as he sets this one down. And that's out number one. The batter. Second so the batting order turns over Joe now and set to Panic. go. Joe Panic. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the first pitch to him. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. Here's the 0 1 pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Desmond moves over. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So a pivotal moment here and digging in now. Andrew McCutcheon. And he does so representing the possible go ahead run. He's set and the pitch. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. One oh home is taken for ball two. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. Three and oh to him now. Jackson stands at second with two gone. Three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. The 
three and one pitch. Lifted into center field. Blackman is under it. He's got it to end the inning as they'll strand the time. And that. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Rockies, number 29. Ready for another Ryan. shot now. Buster Posey. And he's 0 for in this one, batting out of the three spot. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. The leadoff hitter finds his way on base. Should be interesting to see the cat and mouse with the manager. Does he use the bug right here to put a little hit and run on? Do we go old school, new school, and just let him swing away? Should be interesting. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Very weakly on the ground. Foul ball. Strike two. Skied into straightaway right. Para moves over. Looks it into his glove. And there's one gone. The humidor certainly doing its job so far as you get a look at our line score for this one. A low scoring affair very unlike the first 10 years or so of baseball here in Denver. From the belt the pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Posey a runner at first with one gun in the inning. There's a line drive, and that's going to get down. And now, how far will they send that man from first? Posey is digging for home. The relay, and a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. You know, D-Row, in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late inning, so that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Into the box now, Hunter Pence. And so watch a slider that stays inside for ball one. So far, two for three in this one. A ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. Bullet back up the middle. Blackman is there now and he has it. Two gone. The relay. Throw back to second and that's a double play. But the time run comes across here so it looks like this could be a wire job. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. All tied at one and one. So the Rockies lineup turns over and to the plate. Charlie Blackman has got a hit in three at bats to this point. In there and it's 0 and 1. You know, you look at this hitter, he doesn't care about being down 0 1. He doesn't care about having two strikes with him. He's got the utmost confidence in his ability to work back into the count and get him something over the heart of the plate. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw is not in time. And a great job of legging that out as now the go-ahead run is on base to lead. Second base, 
Lamengu. Digging in once again, Brandon Crawford. He was a ground out victim last time up. Brandon Crawford. He's set. Here it comes. Line drive to left. On a base hit. So a great start to the ninth as the possible go ahead run is aboard to kick off the inning. Hey, Dero, not a bad night. Three singles, but hey, he'll take three for four every day of the week. Yeah, in today's day and age, Dan, where everything's a homer, a walk, or a strikeout, it's refreshing to see this guy throw out three base hits. Here's the first pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. And a dive out there in left center, but he can't come up with it. Now the relay home. And on the play, the runner moves into scoring position now at second. Finally, they show some signs of life. These guys have been swinging the bats like they're underwater or something. But a single and a double, and now they've got runners on second and third. We'll see if they can cash them in. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number five, Nick Hundley. And the 34-year-old veteran looks at a called strike. It's 0-1. stuff on the corner and he's got him 0-2 now. Now the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a ball served into center field and it's going to work out. A base hit. And both runners will score as they've taken the lead here at 3-1. Dan, this had all the makings of going extra innings, but right there, a knock to drive in two for your team. Yeah, Dero, that's a huge two RBI base hit here in the top of the ninth inning. Adam Adovino takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. Adam Adovino. Here's Joe Panic. And it's fouled away. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Kelby Tomlinson will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. Number 37, Kelby Tomlinson. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Desmond on the move. One away. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. His head-to-head -head numbers against Adam Ottavino. He's one for four. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lined back over second. And that's in there. Base hit. Sometimes the first pitch is the best pitch you'll see all at bat. Definitely coming out of his shoes. Aggressive style. First pitch. Base hit up the middle. Here's Buster Posey now. As he'll take a look at ball one. Last time through was a base hit. The one and no delivery. Fastball down near the shoe tops. Boy, he better get it back together here quick because he's got two guys on already. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw a strike right here. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Tapia racing back into the bleachers and gone. A 
A three-run home run off the bat of Buster Posey. And it's now a six-to-one ball game. Yep, this is why you just can't rely on one pitch. These are the best hitters in the world. And when they know what's coming, they're going to jump all over it just like he did there. Now batting, third baseman, Evan Longoria. In is the third baseman, Evan Longoria. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. And Longoria swings right through that one as he's behind 0 and 2 now. So he goes back to back with the same pitch and got him to chase it both times. He's clearly not picking up that pitch very well. So he was confident doubling up. Does he triple up on it? It's always tough to go back to back to back. It's not a good idea to show a good hitter the same pitch three times in a row. So he got him swinging. Evan Longoria goes down for out number two in the top of the ninth. First baseman Brandon Belt as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. His head to head numbers against Adam Ottavino. A handful of plate appearances and he's gone four for six. Now the 1 0 is laid off for ball two. Two out, nobody on. Wing line drive. That's going to be troubled. Belt on his way to second. Digging hard. He's headed for third. The relay throw. Low throw, and he can't handle the short hop. Even though that pitcher was able to execute in off the plate, batter was able to keep his hands inside that baseball and drive it up the middle. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. Line to the right side, but a foul ball. Two hits in four attempts to this point. Ready with the 0-1. High in the air down the right field line. Para over to his left. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Here's the first pitch. And that one stayed too low, apparently. And that one just missed outside. Well, this is the matchup they wanted bringing in the reliever, but falling behind 2-0 and doesn't exactly help the situation very much. 2-1 to Gerardo Parra.
ready with another two strike offering and a check swing here but the bat clearly breaks the plane as he set down for the first out for me check swings are right there next to bang bang place at first as the most difficult calls for an ump to make taking a look at show motion the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough so i think the call was right Hunter Strickland enters from the bullpen, hoping to get the final two outs and put this one into the win column. Here's the first pitch. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. If you know you got a real patient hitter at the plate, I love the mindset of this pitcher right here attacking the zone 0-0 and getting ahead. Behind 0-2 now. Now the 0-2 pitch. Missed with a slider. Swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away now. Here's the shortstop, Ian Desmond. And their season hangs in the balance here as they're down to their final out. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. The 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. Last strike now for Colorado. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. And these wild card games are hard enough. It's your entire season rests on nine innings of baseball. But they put aside all the distractions that come with playing on the road and handled their business. Now it's on to the division series. One step closer to the World Series title. One more look at the final line score there to see the great pitching performance that led his guys to the victory. Guys, time to recognize the man who really stood out this afternoon, and there he is, Buster Posey. Take a snapshot of that. He's our top player of the game. Multi-hit game, and one of them was a dinger. That's a solid day's work for any hitter, and it had an impact on the outcome of this game. What else can you say? So for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, this is Matt Vaskersian. The postseason is in full swing, folks. You've been watching the National League wildcard game. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Giants. Six runs on 16.